Hey guys, today I wanted to come to you and speak to you a little bit about Philadelphia Freedom. Uh, we are going to be uh, delivered into uh, the freedom, liberty, as children of God. And uh, that's the thing, we do have freedom in Christ. Uh, His blood covers us from all sin. It's, it's what He did and nothing else that saves us. And He has the power to save and, um, you know, all that power has been given to Him by the Father. And when He was on the cross, He said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. So I contend that we need to fight for our right to party. We need to fight for our right to be free. Uh, in a day where we're seeing an invisible enemy take away our rights to just breathe, your basic freedom to breathe, uh, it's ironic uh, that this is allowed to happen um, so close to the coming of our Lord and Savior. And I believe that it was forecasted through the white horse with a rider that has a corona. And we all know that, well, you may not know, but Kobe Bryant is buried in Corona Del Mar in California. And uh, you know all about event 201. And uh, hopefully uh, the whole idea that uh, the world is kind of a stage. Uh, for example, 9-11 is when both temples fell in the Old Testament. 9-11, our towers fell. They read from Psalm 23, 10 years later on the anniversary of 9-11. They read from Psalm 46, 46 chromosomes in the human body. John 2.20, I believe, says it took 46 years in building this temple, and you're going to tear it down and rebuild it in three days. And, of course, he's speaking about us because we are lively stones in a spiritual house, and uh, we get filled up with water, and uh, hope we're waiting to be turned into wine. Uh, and six stone vessels, six is the number of man, and uh, six feet apart, we're all standing from each other. You know, uh, it's just uh, the Lord's Prayer says that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I mean, Donald Trump is the last Trump, Trump Pence, Obama nation, building the wall, first thing to be done in Nehemiah and Ezra, the wall is built. All in all, you're just another brick in the wall, Pink Floyd. And I believe God writes his story on that music. Well, I'm pretty sure he does. I mean, his, his uh, word says he does. You know, Psalm 49, 4, I will incline my ear to a parable. I will open up my dark sayings on the harp. King David was a harpist. Uh, the music soothed the savage beast that was within King Saul before the Ark of the Covenant came in. The players on instruments and the singers came in. And speaking of Mount Zion, it says that uh, the players on instruments and the singers, all, all of her springs are in her. Um, meaning that we get life from them. We get that living water that the Lord gives us. We all have something to bring to the body, and we're all different. And that's the beauty of creation. And it's the beauty of God's plan. So, I pray you guys have a good day.